Maddox Catlin set to put the foot to it. He kicks it oh, about mid-range. I don't think he intended to kick it too deep. It's fielded by the Falcons, and they are stuck hard and dropped back at the 20-yard line. Frederick real will air it out. He rolls to his right, pitches to Dixon. Dixon's hit, wrapped up. He's going to pick up a couple of yards. Dixon lines up to the wide side of the field. He takes it. Well, it's fake to him. It's kept by Frederick. He's got some running room. He's out across midfield, 40. Cuts back inside and gets dropped down at the 37-yard line. Takes the shotgun snap, and he rolls looking to his right, and he's going to be wrapped up and sacked. Yep, senior Ethan Link in there on the sack. Frederick drops back to pass. Got a guy that's off his fingers out here on the left flat. That was great coverage on that left-hand side by Maddox Catlin. Same play, opposite side a little deeper, and it's picked by Webster County. Aiden Young with the interception there on the far side. The smoking gun comes out from under center, pitches it to Jack. Jack gets down across the 25-yard line. Silas up under center, takes the snap. And gives it off to Young. Young's going to get across. Hold penalty, bringing him back 10. Gun under center again. Gives it off to Jackson Edens. Edens gets back to the 20. Gun under center, comes back. Reverse. Aiden Young takes it around the left side. He's got some running room. He's going to get the first down. Silas Gunn with a pitch back to Jackson. Eden's across the 30, 35, across the 40, 45, and he's going to be across midfield down to the 47 yard line. Hand off to Aiden Young. He's testing the left side, gets around the corner, across midfield, back to where we thought Silas under center. Sends Jackson in motion, hands off to his fullback. Liskey straight ahead. Gunn sends Young in motion. Hands it off to Trent again. Trent goes off left tackle. Four, nice, nice form tackle. Jackson takes the handoff from Gunn. He's still on his feet across the 20. He's heading for the corner. 10, 5. They're going to ride him down inside the 5. I lose my fullback, and they punch it straight ahead into the end zone. Webster County touchdown. Quarterback sneak. Silas Gunn gets the rushing touchdown there, four yards. Let's see. Snap, nice, down, up. Kick is good. They come out methodically, put the ball in the end zone, wearing this Fort Campbell team out right now. Maddox Catlin with a short kick in the in the special teams game. And that is definitely something we can take advantage of. A little swing pass by Frederick out to the right flat. It's incomplete back there to take the snap. Gives it off to Dixon. Dixon's going to get driven back by big number 56 for Webster County. J.J. Sheridan and also in on that tackle for loss was Braxton Alexander. He picked him up and carried him back close to the 30-yard line. Nice pass out of the hands of Frederick. His receiver makes the catch in stride down to the 35. And there's the pitch. And he's got Dixon back there with him as he's running back. He looks to swing it out to the left side, and it's caught. Man makes one move, and he's going to be stopped short of the first down. And they give it to Dixon. And he's going to get ahead for the first down, plus some. First and ten, under three minutes to go opening quarter. Webster County up seven to nothing. Frederick takes a snap, drops back. He's going to keep. He tries to go to his right. He's hit. He's stacked up after a gain of about three. So the snap, a little screen pass over here on the right-hand side. They've got a running lane, but he gets across the 20. Frederick takes the snap. Gives it off to Dixon. Dixon's got the first down and then some. They're going to bring him down short of the goal line, down to the two. Switching up their play. Dixon slides back into the eye. He's going to run out of the eye, and he's going to push the pile, but he's not going to get there as he's dropped for possibly about a yard loss. Frederick gets the snap. Pitch in the backfield, and they don't want to do that. They penetrate and drop him for another yard loss, and that brings the quarter to an end. Webster County ends that first quarter up 7-0 on Fort Campbell. They give it to Dixon. He goes off tackle, and he's not going to get there. They're going to stop him short. 
Takes a snap, gives it off to Dixon. Dixon's got some running room. He turns it up, gets it in. Touchdown, Fort Campbell. Fort Campbell going for two from that left hash mark. Frederick throws it into the end zone. And it's complete. Caden Verdon is going to kick. It's going to be short and squibbed. Fielded by Silas Gunn. And he's got it. He's heading toward midfield. He breaks a tackle. He's got some blockers in front of him. Out to the 50. He's gone. Silas Gunn is going to the house. That's what a got. great return there. Silas Gunn scoops it up off the ground on the short squib kick. And that kid is fired up out there. Watch him dance. going to do a little dance for us. Webster County takes it, and they punch it in for two, so they answer the two-point conversion. I'd hate to jinx somebody, but a turnover here on the kickoff would be really nice. He pooches it. And he Onside gets it. kick, and Webster County recovers it. Aiden Young on the recovery. There's a handoff. Ball's punched out from behind. That's going to be a turnover as Fort Campbell's going to recover it. 10.47 to go in the half. 15-8, Webster County. Quick little pass to Frederick out here on the left side, and they stack up the receiver right at the 20. Drops where he catches it. Frederick looking to pass. Little swing pass out in front of his receiver, incomplete. As Frederick's going to air it out deep, he's got a man trying to run under it, and he overthrew him. The only one, he's, he's their punter. Yep, he's going to pooch punt it. He does, and Fort Campbell's going to down it at the 39-38 Silas Gunn has his dancing feet under center. He hands it off to Jackson Edens, who gets across the 30 to the 31. Now second and seven from the 40. There's a nice handoff to Aiden Young. Silas pitches it back to Edens. Edens picks his way back almost to the original. Gunn sends his man in motion, drops back, looking to pass, dumps it over the middle. He's got his receiver. That's Edens. He's got one man to beat. He picks up the first down, but he has his gun. Reverse. They hand it to Aiden Young. He's coming around the corner. He cuts up inside. He's going to get down to the 40-yard line. And it's a fake. And Webster County's got it and more as he gets down to the 33-yard line. First and 10 for the Trojans. There's a handoff to Edens. Oh, and he runs right into some penetration. Big number 52. Gunn under center. He gives it off to Jack again. He's trying to hit the right the left corner. He's got it. 35-30 down to the 20. Excuse me, 35-25 down to the 20. Gunn sends Young in motion. Hands it off to Kautzman. Bubba Bulls. Up through the middle. Kautzman gets about eight. Edens goes in motion. He turns it up inside. Now he bounces outside. He's got some running room. He's heading for the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Jackson Edens. How many has he made, you say? All of them. And that was a poor set there, but he still gets it up. And he does this one. He drives it deep. It's going to take a wedge bounce. He pulls back to the 12. Webster County's in pursuit back there, and they're going to snow him under at the 10-yard line. Hand off to Dixon. He tries to go up the middle. There's not a lot there. He's going to be hauled down at the 13. Frederick gives it off to Keyshawn Dixon again. He's got some room this time. In at linebacker comes Cash Hopgood. So Frederick drops back to pass, and it's thrown up for grabs and almost picked off by Webster. Frederick, single back behind him. Fakes. Rolls to his left. He's got some running room. There's a push in the back. Not going to be called, but he's going to be stopped. Third and five, and they snow the ball carrier under. You're better than X's and O's wise, and you come out and you show them that. And right now, Webster County is showing that the way that they're playing right now. Frederick kicks it away. Aiden Young fields it. He's got the corner. He's across midfield down to the 40-yard line. Stan not being in the game. You could see it on the sidelines last week as well. He wants to be in there and make plays. There's a handoff to Liskey, who just punishes them up ahead to the 33-yard line. Man goes in motion. 
And there's a handoff to Young. Young going to try the left side, gets a block, gets across the 30, gets the Springer Law Firm first down, down to the 26-yard line. This is a team that from top to bottom right now has shown that they want it. And there goes Jackson Edens. How's Jackson Edens' leg? Well, he just took it down inside the five. Ball or not changes the defense for Fort Campbell. It changes the whole complexion of the game. There's a give to Aiden Webster Young. County. Aiden Young stops, cuts it up inside, cuts it right into the end zone. Touchdown, Webster County. So with 1.41 to go, Maddox Catlin tries to tack on the PAT. It's up. That's the highest PAT I've ever seen. And they're not really sure what they want to do. they got all kinds of guys out there on that kickoff return team. They're just spotting up all over the place. They don't know where that football is going. He pooches it. It's going to be taken by one of the upbacks, and he's going to get a little return across the 45. Frederick getting chased in the backfield. Ethan Link back there going to snow him under. Absolutely, that Webster County defense doing a great job there to get in the backfield. And an interception by Silas Gunn. Has the freshman put his name out there tonight or what? Absolutely, what a showing so far by Silas getting in the end zone with the quarterback sneak. The smoking gun under center, sends Young in motion. Hands it off to Liskey. Liskey's going to punch it ahead to the 50. 29-8 to eight over Fort Campbell. Gun leaves it off with Adams, who's in there. He gets ahead to the 45. Under a half minute to go. There's a little give off to Aiden. Aiden with a stutter step. Gets down across the 40, 35, and he's going to be knocked down at the 33-yard line. And Silas going to punch it straight ahead and going to get down. 48-yarder for Maddox Catlin. Let's see it. It's, it's got it the leg. Good. It is good. It's Oh, it hits the oh, upright. Oh, it no hit the good. Upright. So we've come to the end of the first half. Webster County 29, Fort Campbell 8 to Webster County. Nice kick. It's going to be driven deep. It's going to be fielded by Silas Gunn. And he's going to cut up inside. He's going to get out to the 35-yard line. There's a handoff to Liskey. Trent's got some running room off the right side. He's going to get out to midfield with a Springer Law Firm first down. Gunn gives it back to Trent. He breaks out of the grass, punches ahead for three yards. Gunn takes it, gives it off to Derek Adams, who punches ahead and gets driven back. So Again, here on this third down. Young. Sweeps across to the left. He's got the football. Cuts up inside. Going to get across the 40. Ten minutes to go. Third quarter. Webster County 29. Fort Campbell 8. Trojans trying to tack on off to Liskey again. He pushes it straight ahead to the 35. So a heavy dose of the fullbacks. There's a give to Adams. He breaks the tackle. Gets across the 30. Down to the, the 35. Down to the 30. Gonna Might see a quick little Silas Gun quarterback sneak. Nope, going to give it to Trent Liskey, and he's going to get plus. Is he going to get down to the 25-yard line? This team is very well-rounded right now. Everybody touching the rock and, and making an, a contribution. They're inviting contact and asking them to, to challenge me. And after a steady diet, a fullback, they hand off to Aiden Young, who gets to the outside on the left corner. Gun gives it off to Couchman. Bubba punches ahead to the seven-yard line. Gun under the center, sends Adams in motion, hands it off to Liskey. Liskey takes it off right tackle without getting into the end zone. And they give it to Liskey again, and he gets the first down. But they definitely do. And he takes it into the end zone. Nice kick by Catlin, going to be fielded by one of his up backs. And it's going to be taken down at the 32-yard line. Snap to Frederick. Hits a little screen pass, and it's going to be pushed ahead to the 40-yard line. And it'll be second and second and two from about the 48. Frederick with a single back back there with him. That's Dixon. 
Absolutely, and if they don't get it here, probably going for it on fourth down, too. They they need these yards and touchdowns back. And a deflection. Now, Frederick dropped back. Quick kick. High, not overly long. It's going to take a Webster County bounce, come back upfield, and be down at the 36-yard line. Gunn gives it to Derek Adams. Great run by Derek as he pushes the pile. Big tough Ahead run. to the 45-yard line. Coming into this part of the year. There's a handoff to Bubba Couchman. He's through the first, the initial line. Still on his feet. He's heading down the left sideline. And he's going to be muscled down. And flags come flying over on the sideline. There's a pitch. Aiden Young has it. Cuts it up inside. He's going to be brought down right on the five-yard line. Silas gives it to Liskey. Liskey straight ahead down to the two. And Trent Liskey in the end zone. Trent just took the football and submarined his way through, and you got Maroon and Vegas gold in the end zone. Maddox Catlin trying to redeem himself after missing the last PAT. This one's up. There and it is. Good. All from looking at this Fort Campbell team, that they are a little bit gassed after that last long drive by Webster County. Oh, They're going to let a ball roll back near the five-yard line. The returner not really getting anywhere. There's a lot of maroon jerseys over there. They finally push him out of bounds just across the 20. He did finally make. Frederick has to come out throwing right now, and it's bobbled by his receiver. He takes it at the 20-yard line. So, And uh, a lot more Maddox Catlin on the offensive side of the ball here as the as the clock winds down and whenever they get the, the ball back on offense. Getting the first down out to about the 40-yard line. Frederick getting some pursuit. Rolls out, stops, chunks it downfield. He's got a guy out here all by himself. Hits him in the hands. He's going to get run down from behind. And they can't make the catch. And come down and catch him. And drops the snap on the PAT. And his runners. Great cross-country program they got there. Onside kick, fielded at the 33-yard line. Silas Gunn, since Derek Adams in motion, gives it to him. He's going to be hit in the backfield and dropped for a loss. So Gunn hands it off to Aiden Young. He tests the left corner, punches it up, gets out to the 44-yard line. After three, Webster County 42, Fort Campbell 14, back in a minute. Center. Couchman behind him. Gives it to Bubba. Bubba is going to be hit and victimized by a couple of white jerseys up, out there. Gives it to his wing back. Aiden Young, who's hit and dropped in the backfield. Frederick with a nice little bubble screen out to the right side. and It's going to be swamped under at the 39-yard line. 54 degrees here in Dixon. Frederick takes the snap, looks left, hits his receiver, and he's got some room. He's across the 30, across the 25, down to the 22-yard line. To be remembered as you beat them 42-14, to 14. you don't want them to get more points on the board before the end of the game here. Pass is complete out here to the left side. Frederick hands off to Dixon, and he goes straight ahead right into the teeth of that Webster County defense. On this defensive possession. A nice little rollout for the quarterback. Has a guy in the end zone. And it's tipped away incomplete. Going to be third and goal. So he had to throw it a little too high. And it just wasn't going to happen. Same play going the other way. They turn him around. He's in the grasp. He's going to let it go. And it's going to be. To go over to the sidelines and need to get stretched out for, for cra calf cramps. Fourth and goal. Frederick across the middle. And incomplete, so Webster County going to take over on downs at the eight-yard line. Gunn, under center, sends his man in motion, leaves it off with his fullback, and he's got some running room. He's out to the 21-yard line. And they're doing a good job of it. Trent Liskey and, and so far Bubba Couchman, too, have been doing a great job of running the ball up the gut. They go right back to Trent. He picks up a yard. For a touchdown, but, of course, if they don't, you 100% could see all of that clock wind down here. Right back to Trent. Liskey takes it to the 25. Their 
offense seemed like it's kind of seamless today. Young takes the handoff, stutter step, breaks it around left corner. He turns it up. He's going to be past the sticks for the Springer Law Firm first down. Silas under center. Gives it off to Adams. Gun, a little busted play, but he's going to keep it, and he's going to make something. He gets it out to midfield. First and ten, Springer Law Firm. Strictly on the football IQ and the fleet feet of Silas Gunn. There's a little pitch. Back to Adams. Adams straight ahead. Going to get across the 40 to the 39. So Gunn under center. He's got Kautzman in the fullback behind him. Wide out each way. Aiden, excuse me, that's Derek Adams in the slot on the left side. He goes in motion, takes the handoff, takes it. Well, that's, you know, you got a freshman in there. You want to work on his game management. Gun back looking to pass. He's got his man down here, and he just overthrew it. Stops the clock is the big thing. And a give to Maddox Catlin. And they reverse it. They give it to Adams. And Adams gets away from a tackle. He was getting pursued in the backfield. Catlin Surprised that one wasn't. Rolls out. It's going to be fielded at the 17-yard line. The Fort Campbell ball carrier ducks under the defender, and he's got the sideline. He's going to the house. He just ducked under two Webster County defenders, and the official just bit it at the 15-yard line. And they're bringing the Gator around. And Fort Campbell goes for the two-point conversion and punches it in. Derek Adams back to field it. And an onside kick, and there's a scrum for it. It looks like Webster County saying they got it. Want to give them what they've been seeing, just make sure you hold on to the ball and get these first downs. Wing backs are Adams and Young. Sends Adams in motion. Gives it off to his fullback, and Liskey punches straight ahead to the 47-yard line. Split out to the left. Silas Gunn going to keep it, take it straight ahead. He's going to get. And they're going to bring Gavin Walker out here to be quarterback to take these knees as they win their last home game of the season. Senior Gavin Walker taking the knee. 42-22, Webster County going to get the 20-point win. The player of the game. Within range, outdoors player of the game. And we get to give that to a senior tonight. Our within range, outdoors player of the game is going to be Trent Liskey. Trent, 17 carries for 85 yards for an average of five yards a carry and a touchdown tonight. Also had a huge game on defense.